Good morning, everybody. Here to wash out the sheet set. Gonna go ahead and transfer it over to the rack. Then I'm gonna throw you all up on the tripod and get to cooking. Look at those beautiful tie-dyes. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Slide him over just a hair. Sorry about the sirens, folks. Okay, let's get to washing. All right. Let's get to spray. Got it outside here with the cool water. Rinse them off as good as we can. You know, when they're this large like this, they're really hard to do much until you start to unband them. So we're gonna finish them off in the tub this time so that we have enough room to properly unfurl them and unwrap them. So we just wanna get all the stuff off the outside, off the surface. No serious washing taking place out here, obviously. Just that top coat. Yeah. Oh, hope it didn't get too muddy in the metal, you know. You never hard to avoid sometimes, but been getting really lucky lately, but that water looks mighty muddy. Hopefully the centers don't look too bad. Might have gone a little too overboard with the metal on them. Say about another 60, 60 seconds or so out here, and then we'll uh, head on inside. cold out here but not too bad yet that's why I wanted to go ahead and knock them out get on inside for this freezing weather starts back up again and yeah, get all that all that undiluted dye off of there to the inside. I think I'm gonna take this whole rack with me too. All righty, see y'all inside. Upstairs, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things out of here start to get them unwrapped. Look at that. Beautiful. Crank it up to the hot water. Rinse out the tray good while I'm in here. It's okay to do it outside every now and then, but you definitely don't want to do it on a regular basis. unbanding process. Look at the colors it makes when you set it in here. This is the coolest part to me. Look at this. Oh. 
Look at that right there. Is that not just beautiful, people? Look at that. That hot water really brings the color out, especially on that white background. Flip it over. Look at that nice neon trail. Look at that. Let's start to get it unbanded. Ooh, that water's hot. Might have to turn it down just a hair. A little too hot for my hands. It's burning me. Oh, man. I'm hoping these turned out good. Like I said, they're special made project for a friend of ours. Uh, hope they're not too brown in the metal. That's the only thing I'm worried about for real. I think we're almost ready to see what we got on the first one. Let's see what we got. Get a little sneak peek. Ooh. Pretty nice. Not too bad. It did get a little bit in the middle though. Got some, some good striation on the outside there. Not too shabby, but I don't know. Supposed to be what we wanted. Next. Yeah, that, that's going to make a beautiful visual. See, based on where you hold it, you get different colors of spiral. Different colors of uh, water. Okay, I'll quit messing around and we'll get to unbanding it. These things trap so much dye because you know, it's just so much fabric. Make sure and always rinse them real good before you throw them in the washer. Otherwise, the washer won't be able to get all the dye out. Or it'll make your washer rainbow colored or worse. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. It came out pretty good. It's a little muddy in the metal, but eh. You know. 
I'm not her. I can't do those perfect spirals. But that's what he wanted. Starburst Center. So, hey. Perfect. He wanted a Starburst Center. And that's what he got. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, a little messed up in the middle. But, makes a cool pattern nonetheless. Cool rings pattern. This is what that's supposed to be. The rainbow rings. So. Okay. Last two. I promise these two will be very quick. Still made a decent little tail. Get them unbanned. Hopefully I got them before they got too brown in the middle. Okay, let's get them unbanded. I can just tear right on into here. Let's see. Ooh. Nice. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. I like that. Yeah. Perfect. I kind of wish the sheet sets had turned out just like that, but not quite. There's the other one. That one's even better. Look at that. Boom. Flawless. Man, got a little muddy in the middle, but not too bad. Really wish the others had come out that good. The big ones, but hey. It is what it is. Okay, gonna get them tossed on into the washer. No. No elaborate toss today, sorry folks. Just a basic flopping and arranging. Definitely want to get a lot of this. And here's the final result. Check that out. Wow. Okay, not too bad. Got pretty good striation all the way across, right on up to the edge, to the corners. Look at that, got a little bit of mushiness in the middle, but not too bad. And a nice cool pattern none the least on that one. And a cool pattern on this one. The uh, fitted sheet came out perfect. The flat sheet came out pretty good as well, I must say. Look at that. And then this one's a little bit different, as requested. But exactly what he wanted. Nice sunburst from the middle with a spiral coming out. Big wide spiral. Next time, uh, it was only a little oopsies right there. Next time, I'll be a little more cognizant of that. And then we have the pillowcases, which of course came out perfect. We have pillowcase number one, look at that, and pillowcase number two. A little bit different each, but both looking beautiful, very beautiful. Look at there. And this one as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. So, let us know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see us try to do next. Alrighty folks, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see y'all tomorrow.